Hello everyone, welcome to the Sunday Showcase doubleheader of the game of the NHL and NBA. Right now, I'm MePhone4 and I have a, also have an assistant right with me. It's Lightbrain! Hello everyone, hope you all enjoyed this part of for last night's game. A tremendable win here for David Pasternak, and I guess I'm with you. Uh, yeah, definitely right. But all it does turn out, it's now time for her again. Yep, we're seeing another next matchup. We have the Seattle Kraken and the Colorado Avalanche here at Ball Arena at Mile High. And right now, we are about to be seeing what we've got. Let's take a look. First, starting at the Colorado Avalanche, we have Nathan McKinnon. Ankle breaker on the elite defenseman, and we have that one at the higher speed range. Try to put up an ankle move to try to knock someone out. For this part of the range often, they might be keeping it over and under again. They are trying to keep it right towards the offense, right towards the line. And on the other side right now, here's what we have here is Kill McCarr. Kill McCarr really has that one. The Ely edges is putting up in the Ely, Ely changes when during direction in between by the range, offense and defense. But this zone ability will have it cut it through the edges right toward the inside. This might be a tough one and might be coming right towards in here because around the defender will be right in it, right in the slot and then swoop it in right towards in the slot of it right near the net. Sometimes he could be in here from the corner, but sometimes he could be in the center. And from the other side of it, it can be a very a tough range out. Also has a hot heat seeker seeing I send it, stick him up, and in reverse. Now for the last little player, Miko Rantanen. Rantanen has that when the tape to tape feeds up. Nearly passing within the vision, keeping it right from here. And the other side of it will be keeping it on the puck on string, make it snappy, the third eye, and magnetic run. Now on the other side, as for the Seattle Kraken. We are keeping an eyes on here for the two players, but unfortunately, no X Factor Superstar players are being on here. Only Yanni Gordy, with unstoppable force, no contest, and relentless, and Jared McCann. Snipe and Magnetic. Well, we'll see how this one goes. For Seattle Kraken, we may never know what will happen. And now, standing by, we have a cross here. And you know, this one's going to be a tough on the range. From the other side, we have a cross for the ever on the ankle. We are just showing it up where we have. It's time to make this one coming through. We have is Nickel, along with the other broadcasting of the partner, right towards the other side, Silver Spoon. And the center ice we have is Test 2. I'll be back with that, with the closing of the three star players of the game and the total statistics of the first game in the Western Conference Finals. Let's find out who will take this win. On we go in Mile High. Enjoy everyone for the first game of the doubleheader. Hello everyone, Nickel here, and this is the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Mile High, are you ready? It's time for the first game of Sunday Showcase on EA Sports. Nickel here along with Silver Spoon, and this is the Stanley Cup Western Conference on EA Sports. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed, as right now the puck has already been dropped. We have a couple players here from the Colorado Avs. We have his David McKinnon. Across from the other angle, we have his Lyokinen. Then right toward the back, we have his toes. From the right side, on the other hand right now we have is Kale McCarr and that's Miko Rantanen. On the other hand right now in this instant we have the Colorado Ass to Seattle Kraken. Yanni Gordy right toward it from front. And it's McCann right toward it in, in the slot. On the outside range putting up in and now here's McKinnon here he comes. He goes down. Then it's Larson right towards it into the right. Then back on the other angle. We have across it from here, and the starting goaltender is Martin Jones for the Seattle Kraken. Everly has it up here right toward the middle of the slot. And now McCann has it in unbounded. And the other side we have is Alexander Georgiev. Georgiev is one of the big, biggest players, and you notice that he was really that well. The offense has been pulling it right toward the inbounding. In and you know, they're really keeping an eye on his stride. 
They only see me out of what they ever seen. They've really been showing up like they did before. Other times in re recently, on the past of a couple of the, of the games, they didn't really that well to try to keep him over. But hopefully on that one, they'll find somebody else and find a, a way to make that one pay for. Hopefully, Alexander Georgiev and one of the team from Seattle of Martin Jones might keep it out here for just the right timing. Here to start, Comfort right toward the deep pass. Pass to Naito! Naito's shot is blocked and done to it over again to Schwartz. Schwartz keeps it right towards into the offense zone, now into the neutral zone. In the uh, Avs territory, Gerard over again to Rantanen. Rantanen pass to Byram, pass to Naito. Naito right toward the corner. Pass the copper shot, stopped by Martin Jones. That will be the first one to take the save right toward with 16 of 7 to go. Now that is a little bit dangerous out there, keeping it out of here. But keep in mind, they're not really that tough. The wildcard team and the, and the third seed are very that tough and outraging. Not really happening, but they really won. They are the second seed, of course. Here's Tanada, right toward in the slot, now finds Tobinen. Tobinen in the inbound, trying to put it out. Nice stop by Julia. Julia with the save. Now pulls it over with 15.28 to go in the first. Getting ready for another faceoff. Still scoreless in the first period. As right now, me, Silver Spoon at Ball Arena. Here's Johnson. Now we'll swing it over with the with the puck recovery. Now pass to the uh, oh Gordy shot stop here by Juliet. Juliet got a good handle out there. Might be keeping it in front of the inside of it out. May never know if it's gonna be coming in toward inbounding. Save here by Martin Jones. Tobin and back over it again to Borgin. Margin right towards in the center. The slot back to Gordy. Gordy moving around. Hunt with the puck. O'Connor will have it out here in a neutral zone, and Borgin takes it over. Now Seattle back into the Colorado territory. Tanet with a stop he made. Hit the goalpost soon. Borgin to Sprunge. And that one is carried out. Tanet up and way high off the mark. From the glass, and now back again. Johnson passes to Rodriguez. Gordon shot way wild in the canyon, and it stopped. Here's Heller. He will have that puck right in the neutral zone. Puck almost escapes, and Eller back to Rodriguez. Made the wide shot, and now Borgen will have it in there. Seattle back into the offensive territory, now picking up their way. In a running slot! Stopped again by Georgiev. Now Borgen will have it over to Kiki. Kiki try to get over it, and the late penalty has been called by slashing on Colorado. Not a very good sign, they're not trying to get over this. And Jack Johnson is already in the penalty box. He just did not want to get really that comfortable to be playing here on the rough call. They've already been gotten him, and that's not a good choice. Seattle starting with the first power play of the night in game one. Now looking for a way to get over it in 12.40 to go. Now, here's a cut past the toes and puck clears out. Now the puck. Here's Heberly. Now he finds it over to Borstron and now into the offense zone to try to pick up the steam. In the attack, going along the edge. Borstron! McCarr takes it over. Leaves it over and over and around the net. Schultz has it over again to Borstron. Borstron right toward it in the slot. Pass shot. Made it right around the car and try to keep it over right toward the range. Comper passes out and leaves the puck right toward the Kraken zone. Schultz has it over again to McCann. And McCarr takes it over. Tried to leave it sure-handed, but decided that it was too many mans in the many bodies in the way. He decides to fling it over right toward the glass. Yeah, it's pretty easy to have. Because you can't just realize that whenever you're gonna try to like go with a short-handed goal, it is impossible to get over it. And if there's a double man on you, just try to fling it out. He's almost ready to go, and oh, nice. He passed back to Borshawn. Fires around the net. And the power play will be starting to a failed run for Seattle Kraken. 
The 10 pretty start in the first period turned out to be a silent run. Here's the shot for Toes. And that's stopped again by Martin Jones. Not another shot stopped by Jones. 10.15 to go in the first period. Still no score in this game, nearing the midway mark of the period. Now the teams are ready to take the face off into the offensive zone. Now for the win, Meniers gives it off to Borgen. Borgen trying to leave it over in the empty slot. In the middle, pass to Everly. Everly to McCann, shot! Oh, it went over the net and right behind the wall. Everly has that one recovered. Nido with the puck now rolling in to Hunt. Hunt trying to give it over to the clear offense side. Fires around the net. Borgen with the puck. Try to battle for the loose puck. Borgen over to Kiki. Try to leave it over with the offense run. Now pass to Sprunge. Sprunge with the shot. Jurgen save. And the inbounding will take it from here with only 8.58 to go in the first period. Try to keep that one over it because if there's, if there's nobody else in the offense run, then you're going to have a hard time to try to figure it out who will take it from here. Now for the win for McKinnon, and Gerard will have it. Gets pumped down. Kiki pass. Byron takes a steal. Kiki trying to roll it over into the offense zone. Now swing the pass to Nutrishkin over to McKinnon. McKinnon moving it around. Trying to leave it up with the mark. An empty slot. McKinnon's Gerard. Now the Chushkin shot. Lyak put in right over it again to Byram. Borgen takes it over. No penalty call on Colorado. Borgen passes the sponge. Now over again to Kiki. Kiki right towards it in the inside of his own. Now finds Tenev. Tenev fires it around the net. Colorado regaining the group as the Avs work their way across right towards the corner. Now pass to the Chushkin. Right over to McKinnon. McKinnon on the run. Trying to take Rogier and on Sayak with the puck steal. They're very well trying to let go of the inbound take. There's one for Az, and there's one for the Sea Monsters. Brother good shot! Stopped by Jones, that kicks it off with the pat save to Nev. Works his way across to Kiki. Kiki by Torta in slot. Trying to put it inbounding. And stop again by Robert Goose over to get into Maljin. Maljin fires it out. Pulls it right across to Dunn. Now Vince Dunn will try to take it from in the left zone. Wenberg, Newbrook takes the puck steal. Here in the right angle right now, Robert Goose gets a little bit shoved up. Dunn pass to Wenberg. Over to Borshawn. Borshawn right towards the inside of a slot. Battling for the loose puck. 5 for to go in the first period. Borshawn. And Dunn gives it up. The pass is very really, uh, authentic. They're not really uh, trying to give it over it. But they all say they just can't really get it focused up. The attention of speed has really been turned out very that far. But don't get yourself uncomfortable if you're going to know how to get that one slapped down. And a save be by Martin Jones. Roderick Goose passes to Borshawn and done. Passes over to Gordy. Gordy on the two-on-one attack. Locked up here by Johnson. You go right towards in the offense now. Pick it up in the board in the straight. Here he is. Now Johnson will have it over. And McCarr takes it back over to Melgin. Melgin right toward the outside of the slot and now right around the wing. Done with the puck now by Larson. Larson passed to Gordy. Gordy gets slammed down. And Toes back again to call Colum Miano. Over to O'Connor. Now in again to Eller. Eller's puck has been handled off to. Too soon. Oh, went right toward the horn blade. Horn bleachers. McCarr right toward in the wing. And Colabio. Colabio's shot has been deflected off a dud. Three minutes to go in the first period. Still no score in this game. Gets bumped out and Jorgen gives it the toes. Now for McCarr over again to Eller. Eller trying to move it over into the left way and Larson. Pass back to Veneers. Keep the puck out of the range. Larson with the puck. Trying to make the attacker and it's offside's been called with only 2.14 to go. With the call of this one, Kale McCarr has an elite edges on this game. The running and bounding is not where we are usually seeing it. 
But some of these sharp edges that he has been making in Petrillo, he wants that one to put it right toward in the slot. He's finding an offense for him, and hopefully on the occasion, we'll keep him right from here. I'll be watching on Kale McCarr with the slight edges. Back to you guys. Ran to him with the puck, and now Baneers has the puck taken away with only 1.40 to go. Just right around the corner, and Emberly will try to take it over. Back to Confer. Back to Rantanen. With 1.20 to go in the first period, timing's winding down. Schultz will have the puck right toward again to Sprunch. Sprunch, try to keep it right in the range and sight. Passing down on a minute period. And a shot has been blocked. That's about a great skills in this one. The attacker can be really that loud and deniable. Byram shot, stopped by Jones. 45.8 seconds left in the first period, trying to get that one and lead for a 1-0. Here in the end of the first period, no score this game in the first period of the conference finals in the first game. Maljit will win it. And that one gives a good save with a good catch by, by Jones. Yeah, Jones got a good, pretty good catch saving with the glove. Really might have to give that one a good empty empty fly fish by towards the net. Oh, <laughs> you've always been crazy enough. I never saw it that one. If the fly fish was right toward the net, you would have to give that one major credit. <laughs> I always give that one. You always hear from me. Yeah, definitely do. Whatever you expect. It. Offsides whistled on Seattle. 6.1 seconds in the first period. Nearing down, just the next face-off before the first period comes to an end. With the rebounding, here's Johnson. Trying to lead to McKenna with a deep shot, and they will not count it. That ends the first period. A lot of toughness in behind. No score this one for the first period. We'll be right back with the second period on the Stanley Cup playoffs. Welcome back to the Western Conference Finals as we're about to get started for the second period. Puck is dropped and here we go. Let's start off with a recap here for the first period of the Kraken and the Colorado Avs. So, Mr. Spoon, what do you have? Well, they're very that well authentic. They really have been playing at Bavaria a lot. A lot of aggressive are turning it in between the range of the run. They never seen anybody who was doing this before. But however, they were doing a lot that part of any take. The ultimate run was putting up a successful under deliberation, and at this moment, they really gotta find someone else to try to keep him out. The overtucking range may not be that surprising, but it all does turn out they're gonna have to find another one to get a goal. Here's the Chiskin right toward the back, and McCann takes the puck away. With no scores in the game, it's 18-20 to go in the second, with the start of the second period. Now on the right left side, Larson trying to flip for an open free pass, and Toast takes the puck away back to McCarr. McCarr swings it again to Comper. Comper right into the middle. Takes a shot. That's a stop and save me here by Martin Jones. Martin Jones swings it back over to get the Veneers. Now Bananas will have it over to get to Schultz. Schwartz over to Bershawn. With the pass! It's stopped again by Alexander Georgiev. That passing a lot of it just turned to be in a two-on-one slot. A very close call in the range inbound. Somebody could take that goal away. Here's Comper will now take it over toward the other side. Now finds like Glackrenen. Glackrenen goes down. Comper shot! The backhand is stopped here by Martin Jones. Bershawn right over again to Con Schwartz. Schwartz in the middle. Pass the shot and a glove save by Georgiev. He's going to hold it for the whistle with only 16.26 to go in the second period. Now you know that call? They really are trying to make it clear. They really wanted to get it out of the way. They never really wanted to like prove it all. Because everybody really does that. All time in the moment. And that changing effort, it may not be aggressive enough to try to leave it out in the rush. They really are trying to like pick him up. But you may not be able to find out. What will they do now? Now with the switching chain of the Borshawn. Now with the shot. It's stopped safe here by Alexander Georgiev. Still playing on the, on the Kraken in the, in the Colorado zone. Mark Rams got the puck and now Eller will take it over. 
Now finds Rantanen. Rantanen goes down right toward near the blue line. That blue line may be a very tough and playable, but you may not be getting enough out of it if you get busted. And it may be another way to get you get slammed over it right toward near the blue line. Get out of shot. Stop by Georgiev. Hold it with under 15 minutes to go in a second period. Still, no score in this game, and it's still zeros. Entering in the closing mark on this frame. Still no score in this game, as we haven't made the big weight period in the mark. Now here's Shoshi. Toshi shot! Rebound stopped by Georgiev! Now finds it over to Gordy. Right in the outside is Schultz. Shorts! Over and under! It is hit off the iron! Donato right into the corner. And Jurgen will try to trap it up. Jenny Gay ready for the faceoff, inbounding to take it on. Now, they're not really important, Liverpool, because they're really making that switch in the inbounding. They're really trying to make that one clear as they were getting. Now, with the win, here's Eller, finds Gerard Byram again to O'Connor. O'Connor gets slammed down. Salji right over again to Schultz. Schultz over again to Tenev. Tenev trying to race it over it again to Sprunge. Sprunge shot! Stopped by Jurgiev. Jurgiev opening it up, oh, holding it out, and only 13.36 to go. They really need him. They want him. That's because the contract has already been bringing up after the New York Rangers game. Eller wins the faceoff, and Colorado back on the run. Kale McCarr, unable to make the elite edges to make a play for him. Tanev, trying to make it in front of. O'Connor back to the outside, now back to the inside he goes. And another shot, good save by Jones. We're under 13 minutes to go in the second period. Trying to get a goal right towards in the bounding, in between the Pacific and a central region. Now they're up for another faceoff. It's still no score in this game. Shorts over to McCann. McCann passes over to Eberly. Eberly over to Beneers. Beneers right toward the inside of his own. Turn to slam it. And Jurgen with the stop. 12.34 to go in the second period. They're trying to get it over. Well, there may be another way that they're going to try to get it over that one. I may be saying that the Seattle Kraken's a very tough team. They've always been a wild card team since they always made it two rounds. But now this is their way to get into this one to finalize it and get it down right near it. Maljan right towards the right way. Schultz will have it over in the offside of the call and now Everly. Everly trying to move it out. Keeping the puck out of here and now McCann has it. In the slot now and Toes will take it over. Toes in the inbounding. Fires the puck around the net. Seattle will get in the group on the offense. Now pick up the run. Salshi finds over again to Everly. Everly fires it around the net. McCarr, McCarr, and now it's Toes deep pass to McKinnon. Still looking for a shot. Take the score bounding. It's rejected off of Martin Jones. Martin Jones still getting it really well at this. The ultimate king of the sea monster. Really need to be at here all night. Schultz will have it over here. Pass to McCann. Now right towards the right wing, and now he's he's bumped up. Trying to get a little aggressive out there, try to watch out with that. McKinnon, right around the man defender, and it's blocked up in front. Orstron, recovering the puck here from the defensive breakdown. Now Schwartz, offensive breakdown, Schumann. Schwartz moving in. She'll get with the stop. 9.45, 9.45 remaining in the second period. And we have already passed the mid-right period. It's easy to call that one. They're really trying to like keep it over with the battle intake. They're trying to get a win over it. They never saw anybody coming. Like Larson had three blocks in a row. They really are being put out like they did here before. I know it's very that tough. But be honest. It may be tough, but you can never find out what comes next. Here's Larson. Give it over to Weinberg. Here's Weinberg right towards it in the middle. Right around in the thunder. It's blocked again. 
Wenberg back again to Borshawn. 8.40 to go in the second period, and Rantanen had that puck away. Right in the slot. Trying to make a move away right from here. Oh, Jones! What a wild save! Now with 8.19 remaining in the second period, they're trying to get it fast. Well, that fast you really wanted to get? Well, you just really have to stay in fast if and bound. You've always really wanted to make sure you get it right. Now with the win for Seattle. Larson gives it over to Donato. Horty taking it over for the offense zone. Now finds again to Dunn. Dunn passed it to Linden. With eight minutes remaining. In the second period, Donato. Battling for the loose puck. Try to recover it again. Across from the left side of the corner. Tolverton! Donato! Shot! Rebound saved by Georgiev. Copper back to Rantanen. Over again. Now finds Nido. Nido! And pass broken up and then Stun gives it to Gordy. Now finds Donato. Donato to Tolverton! Backhander stayed made by Georgiev. They're trying to get a goals out there. Block that shot, you can't get it in there. Tolvanen lost the puck. Try to keep it inbounding to try to keep it alive. By Ram has the puck now in the Colorado zone to the Kraken zone. Comper lost the puck here. Try to recover it right from here. And Comper, the good inside. Oh, Jones made that saving earlier. They're really are into a fantastic crowd. They are never getting a goals yet. They came back, they didn't want to get that done. They wanted to make that one clear and far more in their possession. They really are trying to get away with that. Lankernan right over into the wing on the ref's left side. Lankernan with the shot stopped by Jones. Arasayek with the puck and now with only 5.15 remaining in the second period. He gets stumbled up. Now it's Toes. Toes trying to get that puck right away and now he recovers it. McCarr back to Lakota, and now under five minutes remaining in the second period. Well, Sayek will over it again to Kiki. Passes to Tenev. Tenev trying to work it around. Now back again to Osayek. Oh, Sayek all alone. What a one. Lakrenin will try to recover it, and now finally again in Sluchushkin. Sluchushkin gets down right toward near the blue line. Now Osayek will have the puck. Take it over to Wimberg. Puck leaves his own. In the Kraken territory, we have his Wimberg. Wimberg back to Zinev. Zinev trying to swing it over to Wimberg. With 3 for to go. Horstron. Turn to left. It's rejected. Stopped by Alexander Georgiev. Now Emma Carr. Over again to Cologneo. Cogliano. Cogliano went down and Schultz takes the puck away. They're all over now because if you ever pronounce it to call Cogliano, you've got to make sure you have that one right. And it went side wide range. And Jorgen will hold it right toward near the goal post. The 235 remaining. 239. Now the officials are getting set for the face off the beach, dropping the puck. Still no score in this game. Seattle wins the draw. And a great block. Now fires it around the, around the net, and Ron Goose will give it over. Schultz over again to Borshan. Borshan trying to leave it out, and Ron Goose will have it out. In the middle, finds Nuba. In the mounting, and Wenberg will take it over back to Borshan. Under two minutes to go in a second period, trying to look for the shot. The goal! Not making it in time as it's stopped made by Julia. Johnson try to roll it again. Now back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez right into the center of the zone. Now finds Paneers with the stolen puck. Try to keep it right from the outside of the range. Now Motions is out. Newbook right into the middle. Down to a minute left to remain in the second period. Still trying to get a goal right in time. Rodriguez saved me by Martin Jones. Paneers back again to McCann. Now finds it again to Veneers. Veneers went down. Schultz try to recover it. 30 seconds left to remain in the second period. And Veneers, and oh, it just deflected right toward the wall. Johnson will have it back. You know that easier way? The making of this driving is never going to be attained if you're going to get the goal 
to have the Kraken up by one. And Cosiano! Oh man, it didn't go in through. That will end the second period. Wow, it is already that close. No goals in this game. We'll stay here, and third period's next. This is where it comes down to the first game in the Western Conference Finals. The Avs and Seattle are the tough team to be a rival in the Conference Finals. So here we go, the third period is about to start. With my broadcasting partner here with me and Silver Spoon, we are about to get things started here at Mile High. Now with a look at the recap, let's start off with you Silver Spoon. They are very tough in the mounding. Which one had better, better than they take from here? Well, they really did well. Particularly, they really have been doing a lot of offensive in, in the drills. The sound change is not really turning out really what they expected to see. But I get it. But they really are trying to like put in an offender that they did. They never really saw that coming. I know it was really that true. But not to be offensive, they really are trying to keep it over and bounding. Hit for the goalpost. Very bad at off shots. They just don't want to get there uncomfortable and put it right around it. Hit the goalpost on the other side. Oh yeah, I, I was talking about that one here. They're not really sure enough. Why would they actually do this? Wenberg will have it across right towards the offense zone. Now in the inside, trying to make an answer. Went over the net and then right on the glass, right behind the net, and now Toes will take it over. The car over it again to Nachishka. Now he moves around it. Trying to look for the pass and a shot. Stop again by Martin Jones. Here's another one for Schwartz. Schwartz trying to reach it over to Cross. With the shot, stopped again. Toes over it again to Rantanen. Now finds Naito. Naito passes to Rantanen. Rantanen trying to move it across. And the shot, stopped again by Martin Jones. Kick the puck out of here. And now Toes. Reach across. Oh, Sayek with the stop. They're already putting up an inbound, and they never really want to get that or that far. However, they were really trying to make the aggressive of the offense. They just couldn't know where to get it. Toes swings to Naito. Naito, throw in the middle, and now Sayek takes it out. Now trying to put it back in the offense side. Trying to make that run attack, and then rides it back to McKinnon. With the run inbounding. Here's on Sayek. Gordy right into the middle. Trying to reach it across to Donato. Donato in the middle. Stop again by Alexander Georgiev. He's already that good that far. Not really being sure how well is he going to take. It may be enough one to be out there on the lookout chain. Good stop here by the defensive players. Granted it trying to battle against Donato. And now over again in the corner. And here's Gordy's shot. It's blocked up again. Rebound saved by Georgiev. Granted it back to Comfer. Comfer right into the left wing. Right wing. And the center gets bumped out. Borgia trying to battle it across for the board. Osayek right up again to Tobin. Tobin right toward the middle and now finds Sprunge. Sprunge swings to Kiki. Kiki in the middle. We run him up again. Oh, he put it up and back way enough. And it's Yogi with the stop. By Ram over again. Now it passes off to Eller. 13 minutes to go in the third period. Still have no scores yet in the first third period. Two periods remain silent. They might have to find someone else to get that goal in. Well, they may not be anybody going after it. But it looks like it may be one way if they're going to try to save it all. Here's Eller. He will try to give it over. In the offense round finds Calagna. Calagna lost the puck. Now finds again a sponge and now back to Kiki. Gets Brummel down and here's Calagna. Here's Eller. Move around in the middle and it's man defended. Forge it. Kick the puck over. Now finds Kiki. 11.40 to go in the third period trying to get over with the offense run. Slings it out. Now here's New Hook. Pass to O'Connor. O'Connor trying to get out of here. Sprunch. Reaching it out for the site. 
Hunt trying to move it over and passes back to O'Connor. Hunt with the puck now finds Kalyana. The Avs will take their way in the Kraken territory. Back to Newhook. Takes a shot and stopped by Jones. Try to reach it over again to Veneers. Veneers trying to work his way around. In the middle. It's stopped again and it's deflected. Now Newhook will try to take it over in the offense side. Newhook, will he get it? No, it's Jones with the save. Yeah, you can definitely say the positive in his attitude is really putting up a lot of uh, underneath the skill. This subtle change is not really turning the way it's supposed to be. Because they really are getting away with that, and they didn't really set it up for scoring. This intramural is just not really enough to be on a high site. They really gotta find somebody else to do this one. Now with the win, here's Toes. Toes gives up to Maljit. Maljit! In the middle. Moving around on the outside. Shot stop again by Martin Jones. Larson over in the corner. Leaving the puck out of the zone. Trying to watch the puck into the zone. And Maljan gives it over to McKinnon. In the inbounding pass to McKinnon. Shot stop again by Martin Jones. 8.45 to go in the third. Looking it over right toward the offense side. Through the middle, the gap is stopped by Jurgiev. 8.26 to go in the third. They're trying to get a score for Seattle. Well, they don't really want to do that. And because they really are trying to keep it over it, they need somebody else to do this one once more to keep an eye on it. They really wanted to block the shot. As now we're getting away inside. McCain's shot club save. Martin Jones still not giving up. 8.05 remaining in the third. Now he's the number one in the attack. Now ready to take the way into the faceoff. And here is right now it comes back the other way. McKinnon. Toes. Down he goes. Larson taking it over. Try to reach it across in. Now in the middle. Pass to Newark. Wenberg stopped by Chugiev. McCarr in the offense zone. Wenberg will try to take it over. Try to stop the pressure. Wenberg right into the way. Yes, now make their way with a rebounding puck. And now Lekrenen over again into the wing. Back in the offensive territory in the side. It's Larson with a block stop. Stopping the block pass. Now he will give it over again. Trying to keep the puck out of here. Here's Larson. Pass to Dunn. Nine shot. And it's reject and scores. There's your answer. And Bushrod has finally get the goal in before the period expires. Well, you know when Oliver Bushrod was really over it. The most of the time for Seattle, they were really wanting to get over this. They are a tough team in the wild card. I never seen how well they were doing it the last time they were keeping it over. And they would never know if they're going to keep it right into the game. They're really off to it now. By Ram, passes to Nido. Nido, lost save by Jones. 5.55 remaining in the third. Colorado Avs are trying to find a way to make them tie the game up. Seattle has a one nothing lead and finally have it saved out. Jones with 29 saves and now looking for 30 saves in the game. Larson, kicking the puck out of here, finds Gordy. 5.30 left to go. Donato, in the middle, now taking over the offense side. Finds Gordy. Oh, rumble down. That's going to hurt him. Ooh, keep it easy, pressure. You don't want to get out of here. With the shot, rebound, Nato. And Jones save. That's 30 in a row for 30 saves. Here's another offense run, as right now it's still a one nothing game for Seattle. Trying to leave it open with the mark. They sure do. They really have to start getting a lot of a focused attention. They need somebody else to try to keep it out. Now here's McCann. He will try to take it over from the offense side. 
435 left to go in the third period, and Gerard back to Wright's man. Wright's in a wet towel hard. Wards it again. Trying to lead the puck out with the stick clip. No. 405 remaining in the third. Trying to need to get this thing a run back to a start. And now we'll be up for an attack. And really pass to Borgen. Borgen right into the offense zone. Slide it off. Back again to Gerard. Back to Leckerden. Leckerden right into the right wing. Now pass to McKinnon. McKinnon wibble it out. And Borgen takes the puck away. Keeping the puck out of here on his own, and it's done. Back again to Veneers. Oh, he went down. That's a big get low. That avalanche is trying to put a snap here on Veneers. Trying to reach him down like he never did that. Lockernan right into the corner, now finds Kuchuskin. Trying to look for some open offense. It gets batted down. Well, Strahd right into the, into the offense side of the left. Here's the ride. Pass again to Eller. Eller moving it in. With the shot, it's blocked. Borchett. Trying to look it over in the offense zone. Pass to Borchett. And trying to make it over again. With the two. It's a save me by Georgia. Tobin it. Borchett giving it back over again on site. Now finds Weinberg. Shot save here again. Rebound up, and Gerard trying to help him out. We're down to the last minute of the period, and they're trying to need to get a goal to tie it up. Well, they have to do this. They don't want to get defended now, because if they do, they need some help. Here's the shot. It's blocked. Donato. In the corner of the offense zone, and now Toes gives the call to Leano. The main advantage is on for Colorado. Trying to reach it out of here. Colliano. Rallying for the loose puck, finds Ranton in over to get to McKinnon. McKinnon with a car shot. It's stopped by Jones. Oh, wow. They're all over this place. And you can simply tell the Avs fans are, are going game silent. Well, it's been already that the fantastic little moment with only 27 seconds to go. Still man advantage getting that done. Now here's Larson. Larson passed to Veneers. And done. We'll have it out. To fire it deep. Missed the target wide. Back to McKinnon. And lost the puck. Everly's going to hold it and blocked it out. Nobody getting it over it. Larson trying to leave it out. And done. Reach again. Blocked the shot. It is. And it scores. That's your end of the first game. Meniers and her team wins the first game in the Western Conference Finals. Well, it's pretty enough now that Benitez already had done it. Vince Dunn had that pass right away. Because of his own offense, that's what everyone is telling, that they are just proving it to do it again. That's what they're proving it right or wrong. And that will end the first game of the Western Conference. Seattle Kraken wins the first game in the Western Conference Finals. 2-0 is your final score. And all eyes on Martin Jones. Yeah, everybody has to call for that one. Martin Jones, really a great way to be here. And now we'll end the game, folks. Nickel, along with Silver Spoon and Test Tube. We hope you enjoyed this game, and we'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks for joining with us, and have a great night. All right, thank you, Nickel. And now it's time for three-star players of the game. Oliver Borshawn only had the goal, and that was one. It did turn out around your gift. The second star on the other side, we have got Martin Jones. 31 saves. Really at saying that, no goals been tipped. Never got it in there. And your first star goes to Alexander Georgiev. 35 saves, .972 saving percentage, right across the inbound. They are a tough team. You can never just feel like they were already been staggering it down. And here's how they did with the total statistics. 37 shots on goal for Seattle and 31 for Colorado. 15 hits for Colorado and 19 for Seattle. 548 over 442 time on attack for Seattle. 93 percentage over 91 for Seattle. 17 over 13 for Colorado faceoff win. 
Two minutes only retains here for the penalty kill. No power play goals in between in between this play of the matchup of Seattle. And that should be doing it. Well, if you're tuning us here later for the Nuggets and the Lakers, that's game two. It's underway starting at 9.30 p.m. tonight. So it may not be, or 7 p.m., 7.30, or we call it 8.30. You know what? Enough of the guessing. Let's go with 8.30. That will be much more, but you always have to end, understand it. So I guess everybody's enjoying it on your biggest day. I know school's down the wire, but don't worry. We still have more, a couple underway before the game ends, before summer hits. And you'll stay tuned for the new episode of the NMA Sandy Invitational number 14. Before the end of the 2022-23 new episodes of the NMA Sandy Invitational. I'll be keeping an eye on here to find out which one will it be? And at that moment, it will be tough to keep an eye right towards the site. Anyways, peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on the A-Sports style. Stay right here. Don't go anywhere. We'll get this court redone once the ice rink is covered. We can have a little basket court, basketball court for a team for fun. And come out and play. I, I just don't even have to worry about that. This is me, Phone 4, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to follow him on his social media on Instagram and TikTok, and Discord is coming soon. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. There will be more underway. Thank you, and good night. Good evening here of Colorado of Mile High. See you all later for the next game. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.